Hey, how's it going, everybody? So today I'm going to show you how to run two instances of Battle.net. It's actually a pretty simple method. So let's go ahead and jump in. So as you can see here, I have my uh, first Battle.net account here. This is actually my alt, which I just made. I'm currently playing Hearthstone here, but that doesn't matter at the moment. Go to your top left and then go to settings. Scroll down and click allow multiple instances of Battle.net. Now click done. Let's make this smaller. So now if I wanted to run a second battle net, um, if you have a shortcut or an icon down here, you can just go ahead and click on battle net and it'll open a login account. All you have to do is log into your second account and then you should be able to open it. So now since I'm running one, the second one is always going to ask you to log in. So let's go ahead and log into that one. Okay. So there we go. We now have two accounts. This is my main on the left and then my alt on the right. Uh, what I'm going to buy, basically use it primarily for is for Hearthstone to use my deck tracker so I can kind of see um, stuff on the menu that helps me out for those of you that play Hearthstone. Um, and then theoretically, you should be able to run multiple instances of Call of Duty, uh, Diablo, Overwatch, whatever it is. The only thing is that you probably have to change your uh, settings so that the same controller doesn't control both. Same thing with the audio. Unfortunately, I won't go into that just because I don't really want to try it out. Um, but yeah, one of the things that you can do so that, for example, if we see here, I'm running Hearthstone already on my alternate account, but it says playing now on my first one. What I've read is that you have to change where they're basically installed. That way, when you launch one, it doesn't affect the other since it's in a different uh, file location. So you can click on options, show an explorer. And then as you can see here, I have the Hearthstone folder here. What I would do is copy and paste it to a different drive. And then that should help me out. That way I can select the second drive for this second account and then the first drive for this account. And you should be able to play. Um, of course, you're gonna have to maybe change a few settings here and there. Again, like I said, for the whole uh, mobility and audio aspect, but you should be able to be good to go after that. Um, if you do have any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Um, this method is working as of April 2025. So let me know if it doesn't work for you or if you have a better suggestion. Um, and yeah, for those of you that want to stay, let's see what we have on my alts. I played recently and I have a lot of those um, catch up full, uh, packs. So we'll just see if we get anything good from them. I have three of them, actually. Mm, OK, I think everything else is like common and whatnot. I think in total you get five. I've already opened one. I have three other ones. Ooh, 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 look at that. This is what you call a good ass pack. I mean, I probably won't use, I will use him, not use them, maybe. But yeah, that's already, you know, 1600 if you disenchant them, as long as it, uh, they've been changed recently. Not at least, I think, 400. Let me start building a few uh, primary decks. Again, I don't use that. Yeah, not bad. Okay, well, that's it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the description box for additional info on videos that I upload and then my live streams as well. I will see you next time.